Oh, hello and welcome to day one of the third week of the Starters Orders Online League flat season. It's this week, of course, where things start to really hot up and we have got an action-packed day for you today. Twelve races coming from Kempton Park, Newmarket and Sandown Park. We've got group races, we've got handicaps, we've got a little bit of everything. And the big feature race today, of course, is the first classic of the season the kipco 1000 guineas for three-year-old fillies over a mile and we'll be talking about that race a little bit more later on the supporting card at newmarket today the qatar jockey club stakes over a mile and a half the daily stakes over a mile and a furlong and the fillies again for the pretty polly over a mile and a quarter we start off at kempton though with the snowdrop fully stakes over a mile and the betfred queen's prize a two mile handicap and then we end up at sandown for the bet 365 mile for the older horses and the gordon richard stakes over a mile and a quarter so first classic of the season then today the 1000 guineas the maestros that are dug and stew are with me we have a quick look and see what we think is going to do any good have you had a look at the card chaps what do you think um i'm still looking yeah no it's a big old card obviously we're allowed uh, a couple of entries so that makes a, a big difference um and most of the big guys have got horses in there or, or at least two i mean darren thompson Stephen ran django difficult I mean, what is there? Three previous winners in there. There's a Leon Van Rensburg who was a winner last time out. Very hard to pick. It's a big field. Um, there's four or five trainers certainly started off this season pretty much all on level terms. So if I really had to stick my neck out, I would go for... I'll go for Zella de Velez for Darren Thompson. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it obviously had the first up win on the any win on the first week that's a good win so um oh man this is a tough one i'm gonna go faux pas for Stephen ran mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. he does do quite well with the classics doesn't he steve yeah yep. i mean i think this is really great the fact that it's got such a big field the guineas always used to have really big sort of 20 runner fields it's great it's surprising that there isn't a single unbeaten horse in the race though except for the one that's never had a run before and this will be the first time ever because this is the first season where you can make a debut in a group one the first time ever that we've got an which is ember lane thunder spark um and the fact that all of the others have managed to get beaten already the fact that i don't think any of them look like they're superstars because i say that because if you look at leon Ren, van rensburg's horse motion of the potion now you look at that that one last time out you'd think it's top trainer it's got to be in with a chance that race that he had last week it beat my horse called shake me by a short head and that is rated about 62 so if that horse is good enough to win the 1000 guineas then my horse in the that was over seven furlongs as well wasn't it yeah it means that my horse later on in the week is like a, the biggest cert since arkle so it's a wide open race I mean, it's, anything could win this but so the fact that i don't think anything looks like it's a world beat so far i'm going to go for thundersparks unraced ember lane i think that'll be the one that's going to go and um yeah no fair call Win it yeah, simply because we don't know what it is. Chance he started off well last week, and um, so that's it. So it's Emberlane for me. Faux pas. Zelda Velez. Okay, so let's hope that uh, we get a good race. I'm sure. Well, you're commentating on that one, aren't you, Doug? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. So just before we get into the races then, let's have a quick look at the current standings for the trainers and Django and Jim are the two that are showing the way at the moment with 10 winners apiece. Then Steve Rand, John Morgan, Joshua Sutherland all on seven. Paul Rhodes, Darren Thompson on five with Molly at Surfer on four. Leon Van Rensburg on three and then a whole host of people on two and one. So that's it then. We'll get ready for the race and I'll hand you over to Doug at Kempton for the first race of the weekend. 